Time now, 541. And right now, more and more apps are taking a crack at helping you save cash without the pain of penny pinching. But what are the best apps to help you save money and how do you use them? 7X News reporter Matt Smith live in our newsroom. Matt, how pain free are we talking here? Well, uh, some apps are better than others, and, and when we talk about what one is the best, it's really what one is the best for you. So I want to kind of run you down a few of these. So first up, let's talk about Acorns. This one is one of the most popular apps out there, and I'll say this is the app that's really best for the investor pick. Why? Well, simply put, you swipe your card, it rounds up to the nearest dollar, that money sits in an account for you. Once it adds up to $5, it shifts into an investment portfolio and you get to pick anything you want, aggressive to conservative. Now, let me give you an example here. So this is actually a bill that I just had yesterday. 39.71, so it ends in 71. That means 29 cents, if I swipe my card with Acorns, would go into that app and sit there and wait for me. Here's the downside though. That money is an investment. You're putting it in the stock market. So if all of a sudden you get a little scared, you wanna pull it out, you can't do it immediately. Let's talk about another app. Second one that we're talking about this morning is Capital. That's Capital with a Q. And I'm saying this is the gamer pick. If you can do all the same stuff as that roundup with the acorn, but you can create rules. Like for instance, if I splurge on shopping, I have to save an extra five bucks that week. Or if I spend less money this week, I can set a goal and the difference goes into my account. Plus this isn't an investment, so there's less risk. But the type back here, the drawback I'll note, well, it is a savings account, you get a lower rate than a traditional bank. All right, let's try one more. It's called Tip Yourself. I'll say this is a good one for the non-spender. This is a little different because instead of rounding up, well, the name explains it. You tip yourself, uh, kind of like you tip a waiter, waitress, or barista. You don't have to spend for it a lot. You can just tip yourself for positive behavior. Say you didn't eat a cookie, boom, give yourself five bucks. You went to bed on time, there's the three bucks. Whatever you choose, it kind of helps you tip yourself, but also it's putting positive behaviors and rewarding you for them. So a lot of these things might pay for just some small stuff, but let's talk about the big stuff, student loans. This is a one that is gonna affect a lot of people and if it's not you, maybe it's your spouse, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's somebody that you care about that has a lot of debt because of their college debt. We're gonna be talking about how you can chip away at that student loan coming up at 645 with a similar app, but just a little bit different just recently introduced by Fifth Third. That's coming up again at 6.45. For now, we're live in the newsroom. I'm Matthew Smith. We'll send it back to you. Student loans, Matthew. Oh. You got me at student loans. I tell you what, I, I think everybody needs these apps in their yeah. life. Oh, it's so it smart. It makes sense. Yeah, it's easy. It really right, because if you don't have them and you have kids, they're going to have them, so you're going to have them. It's actually a really good point, yeah. right? You want to get up on what they're oh, going to do and teach them right. smart habits. Or we're thinking. We never 